Hello, everyone. My name is Markus Kalinowski. I'm a professor of software engineering at Pop Rio. I'm going to present the paper Towards Lean R&D, an agile research and development approach for digital transformation on behalf of the authors at the Euromicro Conference on Software Engineering and Advanced Applications. Just to briefly provide you the context, internal efforts enabled Petrobras to identify digital transformation opportunities to further promote their operational excellence. However, addressing these opportunities typically involves research and development uncertainties that could lead traditional research and development cooperation terms to begin negotiated in years. As we know, there are time to market constraints for fast paced deliveries to experiment solution options in the digital transformation context. Having this in mind, they partnered up with Spook Rio to establish a new digital transformation initiative, the initiative EXACTA. EXACTA stands for Agile Experimentation, Co-Creation, and Digital Transformation. The goal of this paper is to present the lean research and development approach tailored within the new initiative to meet digital transformation needs. Within the paper, we present the design of lean research and development, and we report on first experience of applying lean R&D in practice. Before talking about our agile co-creation philosophy, I would like to briefly discuss our interpretation for digital transformation and its synergies. In our interpretation, digital transformation involves strategically aligned innovation using digital technologies and ideally applied research and experimentation efforts. Having this in mind, our agile co-creation philosophy relies on continuous software engineering concepts involving the alignment between business strategy, development and operation through biz dev and DevOps efforts and a continuous experimentation feedback loop. The main requirements for our approach are maximizing business value while minimizing waste, allowing to fail fast to handle digital transformation opportunities and risks, and enabling to address complex problems. Therefore, we designed Lean R&D based on the following building blocks. Lean inceptions to enable outlining strategically aligned minimal viable products. Research supported parallel technical feasibility assessment and conception phases. Scrum based development management and biz dev and continuous experimentation. This figure presents an overview of Lean R&D highlighting the digital transformation concepts. Strategic alignment, innovation, the use of digital technologies, and applied research and continuous experimentation. Lean R&D starts with lean inceptions to enable the ideation of strategically aligned minimal viable products. These minimal viable products are documented in the form of an MVP canvas. Once the MVP has been outlined, the next step is a checkpoint in which the MVP is assessed to assure that it represents a quick win. In case it represents a quick win, we start the conception phase in parallel with technical feasibility. The conception phase involves detailing what has to be developed. As a result of the lean inception, we identify the set of features. However, these features need to be detailed. Therefore, we start the conception phase by conducting product backlog building dynamics in order to provide further details for the features into user stories. Complementing these user stories with wireframes and PDD scenarios for acceptance. Also part of the conception phase is the elaboration of high fidelity prototypes for usability evaluation. In parallel with the conception, we work on the technical feasibility. The technical feasibility involves outlining the architecture and also investigating the feasibility of the intended innovation. This phase is strongly supported by a dedicated research team. In the next step, we validate the conception and also look at the results of the technical feasibility evaluations to decide whether the development should go on or not. Deciding on continuing the development efforts 
we then start agile development of the solution. This phase is also strongly supported by the dedicated research team, mainly because typically innovation involves the use of cutting edge technology to solve specific problems in which these technologies have probably not been applied before. The MVP is then developed within six sprints of the agile development. Thereafter, it is presented to the customers to assess whether it matches the expectations. Considering a positive outcome, the MVP is then moved into production. After the transition to production, we can then operate our continuous experimentation plan to provide feedback for strategic alignment and to support future product increment plannings. It is noteworthy that from the ideation to continuous experimentation, there are four checkpoints which enable to apply the fail fast concept in case it is needed. For the details about lean R&D, its spaces and the roles involved can be found in the paper. Having designed lean R&D, we now report on our first experience of applying it. The first two projects out of four currently in progress started in December 2019. We focus our report on these two. Project one involved intelligent monitoring of gas emissions by oil refineries, and project two involved intelligent logistics control of service providing ships, helping to identify off hire situations. Regarding the overall approach outcomes, we observed that the artifacts were generated as planned, the MVPs were accepted by the customer and delivered to the end user within a four month time frame. Project one delivered an MVP with six features detailed in 28 user stories. Project two delivered an MVP with five features detailed in 53 user stories. Unfortunately, continuous experimentation results were not available at the time of this submission. We also collected the main stakeholder perceptions. The manager responsible for the industrial business area emphasized the co-creation process, effectiveness in adding business value, speed, and evolutionary MVP approach. The representative of the logistics area was in line with these arguments and emphasized the co-creation, agility, and efficiency. We also evaluated the acceptance of each of Lean R&D's building blocks. As a whole, Lean R&D enabled defining a joint MVP vision, addressing research-related uncertainties early, and to efficiently deliver valuable MVPs within a four months time frame in both cases. Further details on these evaluations are part of a different publication. In these figures, you can see photos of the lean inception dynamics conducted with the customers of each project, and also our standardized agile development dashboards. Our key takeaways are that lean R&D represents a promising approach to support digital transformation initiatives. Our key perceived success factors were the business strategy alignment, customer supported co-creation, and the highly qualified research and development teams. Based on our experience, we put forward that exploring synergies with academic IT research programs can represent a competitive advantage for digital transformation initiatives. We thank you very much for listening and are open for questions.